Well, we know misinformation and conspiracy theories are spreading faster than ever before, largely online. But quantifying the damage they do is not easy. Now a group of academics has attempted to add up the impact of misinformation about COVID-19 in Canada. The Council of Canadian Academies estimates misinformation contributed to the vaccine hesitancy of more than 2 million Canadians during a nine-month period in 2021. It estimates that hesitancy led to at least 2,800 deaths, along with an estimated $300 million in medical costs. It says misinformation also led to deep divisions within society, even within families, divisions that continue today. And as Heather Urex West explains, there is no vaccine for that. I want to cry. It makes me so sad um, that so many people could have been saved. For Trudy Ballard, the findings of a new study by the Council of Canadian Academies feel so personal because they are. In October 2021, Trudy Ballard lost her dad. He died of COVID-19. There was so much misinformation being put out there and Unfortunately, he believed a lot of that. Ballard believes misinformation prevented her dad from getting the COVID vaccine. Researchers say he was far from alone. Using a mathematical model, a panel of experts have tried to measure the cost of COVID misinformation in both dollars and lives. What would things have been like had all those people who thought COVID was a hoax gotten vaccinated as soon as they were eligible. Had that happened, the models suggest that within a nine-month period of 2021, there would have been 198,000 fewer COVID-19 cases, 13,000 fewer people in hospital, and 3,500 fewer patients in ICU. It wasn't just anti-vaccine and conspiracy theory and the 5G chip theory that was that was ripping through our hospital. It was the lack in, of faith in healthcare professionals and expertise that was killing us. And it's that distrust and the anger that followed that's perhaps more difficult to quantify and even harder to fix. We were the victims of death threats. Um, to this day, I have certain distant family members who accuse me daily of being a mass murderer from vaccination. So what's the solution? The CCA report says there's a lot of work to be done, from holding social media companies more accountable to ensuring accurate medical information is communicated more effectively. Of course, nothing can be done to give Trudy time back with her dad. She just hopes something can be learned from his death. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.